just here. So Sit down, yeah. yeah thank you, man. There's a lot of people that would not be happy with me right now for even talking about this. But I feel like everyone has a right to tell their story. My name is Luke Biscay and I'm 31 years of age and I'm from Geelong. Music was really the only thing I was ever good at. My dad is a wonderful guitar player. He was in a band called Gowana in the late 70s and I basically picked up the guitar because I admired him so much. My father, he hung up his guitar to join a church. He had found something he considered to be a greater calling in life. He moved to England to go and minister over there and I was raised in his assembly. It's hard to tell this story because it's, it's, it is my story, but it, you know, it's, there are people in this story that I love. You know, it's difficult. We were a very extraordinary group of people nested within a normal society. We believed that the end of the world was coming and we really felt a great duty to essentially save the world. That was our calling. Growing up, trying to conduct yourself in a manner that represented our standard. You know, for some people it was quite easy. For me, not so much. You know, just going through the normal things that, that young guys go through, it was slowly chipping away at like all of those values that I'd grown up with. I felt like I was just a phony. You know, I didn't, I didn't feel like I was uh, being honest anymore. I felt quite ashamed of myself. I didn't want to pretend. I wanted it all to be real for me. I wanted to be a part of it all, but I just couldn't. Well, eventually I was given an ultimatum by the ministry that I had to choose between a life in music or God. It's a hard choice to make. The next day, I said goodbye to my parents, to my sisters. I could do whatever I wanted, but it came at a cost. It was devastating for my parents to have to say goodbye to me. Shine a flashlight. Devastating. One of the hardest moments of my life. On the parents' place. Given how much was at stake, I thought, if I'm gonna so trade good this good. in, I better have a bloody good go at it, you know? <laughs> so here I am. Since a great upbringing. It's the only thing that's ever come naturally to me, is playing music. And so I made up for lost time when I left, and I chased it. Suddenly I was just playing gigs all over Geelong, and people were coming to my shows, and they knew my songs, and they were singing along. And I was like, wow, like for the first time in my life, I feel a value. I feel like I have something to give. If there's anything that feels innately human in your character and your temperament that you're made to feel ashamed of, you have every right to question it. Or just be honest. It's okay to look at the world around you, and if the nature of reality doesn't square with something that you've been brought up with to believe, be honest and be inquisitive. And it's okay to ask questions. Yeah. I saw a 